I loved your I am sermon so much that uh, I texted you immediately and said, wow, I just had a big aha because obviously I know and believe and trust and have faith, but the simplicity of whatever follows I am is going to come looking for you just really was a, was a big aha. Yeah, you know, Oprah, so many people don't realize the way they go through life. Is in the, I think they've just been trained that way. But like you're saying, I am so tired, and yes. I am unlucky, and I never get any good breaks. But, you know, when you speak that out, you're setting the tone for your life. I always tell people, if you want to know what you're going to be like five years from now, listen to what you're saying about yourself right now. You can't go around... Ooh, that's <laughs> good. That's you can't good. go around saying all day that, you know what, I'm not attractive, and I'll never get any good breaks, and I'm a lousy mother... That's just going to draw in negative defeat and things that are going to keep you from God's best. Well, I, I love that whatever follows I am is going to come looking for you because whatever follows it. I, I, this just happened to me recently. I was filming uh, the movie The Butler, and I was so tired. And all day I kept saying, I'm so tired. I am so tired. I'm so... And what I realized is I was getting more and more tired. And then I thought about the sermon. I said, how can I turn this around? And for me, I can't immediately go to, I am so energized, because I wasn't. Yeah. So I was trying to think what, so I can't go, I'm so energized, I'm now lying to myself, because I'm not. <laughs> but what can I use in between? So I started to say, I am looking forward to my second win. Good. I am looking forward to my second win. And it came. Yeah, it came. You know, I think that's, that's true. You could say just what you said, and I am refreshed, I am being restored, and yes. you know, things like that. You don't have to go to the extreme. Go but, to the extreme. Yeah. How did you come to that, though? What, was, what, what, what spark of God happened that made you conclude that whatever follows I am is going to come looking for you? I think sometimes we make things so complicated, but it's the simple things that... Uh, that keep most people back. I think naturally we get up, not, not everybody, but if you, if when you're lying in bed, a lot of times you'll think about, oh man, I don't feel like going to work, and you, you can rehearse the problems, or you can rehearse what happened yesterday, and mm -hmm. it starts right at the, at the beginning of the day, so that's why I think it's so important when you first get out of bed in the morning, find something to be grateful for. You know, you may not feel perfectly well, but you've got your family. Yeah. You don't have your job, but you've got a great place to live. You've got some friends. So you start the day off, you know, you set the tone right at the beginning of the day before you check the stock report, before you check the weather, before you, uh -huh. you know, see before if the... Before you open that BlackBerry or iPhone, that's right, that's your right. smartphone, because once you start into that, you're, you're, yeah. you're captivated by whatever is going on in the outside world. Do you know what I do the first thing when I open my eyes? I've trained myself to do this, is to say thank you. Yeah, that's, that's the first thing Isn't I do. That that's awesome. That's so I say important. thank you. Yeah. For whatever's going to come. And Meister Eckhart said years ago, the 13th century mystic, that if the only prayer you ever say in your whole life is thank you, yeah. that will be enough. But I start out with thank you. So what do you say to these people who are tweeting right now who are saying, I am, somebody just wrote, uh, Peggy Smith, I am lost. Peggy, you should write, I am found. <laughs> <laughs> So glad I am found. Uh, I am insecure. I am, you know, change. You know, we all have that recording playing in our mind. I think, you know, simple things. I am confident. I am secure. I am talented. I am creative. I am disciplined. I am focused. Simple things. You know, Oprah, I really believe some women have never said once, I am beautiful. Because they're looking at all their flaws. They're looking at, hey, man, I don't look like her. I don't look like them. But, you know... <laughs> Listen, listen, ladies, when you say, I am beautiful, you know what you're doing? You're inviting beauty to come in. You're inviting wholeness and freshness, vitality. You know what? As you're saying that, I'm thinking, I've never said I'm beautiful. I say, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm good. Let's all say that, ladies. I am beautiful. <laughs> Invited in. That's, right. That's, right. That's good. You know, the thing, Oprah, it's, it's not, you know, it's not magic, but those words go out of our mouth and they come right back into our own ears. They start to change our own self-image. And this is, this is not magic, but you go around day, saying all day, I'm blessed, I'm beautiful, I'm talented, I'm valuable, I'm creative, I'm disciplined. That's doing something on the inside of you. And you know, it's affecting your own self-image. So it's I not love magic. that it's it coming back to your own ears. back to your own ears. That's what you're hearing about yourself. We get that, right? What you're hearing about yourself.